Dear all, welcome to the playlist of Power Electronics. In this session, I would like to discuss the importance of freewheeling diode. Now let's consider a circuit diagram. Here we have the supply Vs and we are having a power switch which is represented by SW and we are having a power diode and R load. So the circuit it operates two conditions during on condition. So during on condition, let us see the peculiarities of the circuit. So we are having an inductive load definitely during on condition the inductor stores energy. So we can write inductor stores energy that means energy will be stored inside the inductor during on condition. Okay. So when the switch is off during off condition what is going to happen during on off condition definitely the stored energy in the inductor that will be released. Okay. So stored energy will be released. Will be released. According to energy conservation rule. Whenever energy that is getting released that will be reverting back to the circuit elements such as switch then diode etc. So that the sparking will be taken place across the switch. As a result, the switch will be spoiled. Switch gets spoiled. And the power diode is also getting spoiled. So damaging of equipments will be taken place if this condition prevails. So that's the main drawback. How to overcome this problem? These are the major problems which are facing in power electronic circuits. How to overcome this problem? There is a solution that is called freewheeling diode. So by using the freewheeling diode, you can overcome this difficulty. Let us see how we can make out. What you are supposed to do is, you need to connect a diode, a freewheeling diode, parallel to the load. So let me call it as DF. DF stands for freewheeling diode. During on condition, the energy will be stored inside the inductor. So that means during on condition, during on condition, this DF will be under reverse bias condition. Reverse biased. There won't be any current conductive path through the uh, freewheeling diode during on condition. But energy will be stored in the inductor. During off condition, during off condition, in spite of directly dissipating energy through the circuit element, the freewheeling diode will produce different path C. The energy will be dissipated in this way. Therefore, we can overcome the spark through the switches and the diode can be protected. Okay, that means it protects the remaining elements which are connected in the circuits. Thus, it is ensuring protection against the reverse current. So that is why we are going to use freewheeling diode. Uh, moreover, you can able to calculate the freewheeling diode current IFT. It is represented by IFT. Okay. So, you can use the formula to calculate the freewheeling diode current which is given here. IFT is equal to IFT is given by Vs by R Vs divided by R into e to the power minus R by L T e to the power minus R by L so this is the formula which you can able to calculate the total freewheeling diode current which will be passing in this path okay whenever switch is at off condition where vs is the supply voltage and r is the value of inductor sorry r is the value of resistor and l is the value of inductor uh, during mode 1 energy will be stored inside the inductor okay later on whenever the switch is off energy will be released so you can represent with the help of waveform also so this is regarding uh, importance of freewheeling diode thank you very much for watching this video